Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CCT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. Welcome to Not Perfect Zen and another day of Inktober 2022. And these are patterns for October 9th and October 10th. Um, I do have an introductory video, so I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, but here are your tags if you want to use them. These are my randomly selected two by two tiles. And let's get started. Today's patterns are Sumu by Lin Chu, CCT. Not sure if I said that right. And Finery by Zen Tangle Headquarters. Zoom in on this a little. And the thing about Sumu is, first of all, I'd encourage you to look at the step outs because uh, she explains exactly how these are done. But if you look at this, it's actually a combination of an S shape and then a U shape. And if you look at it this way, kind of an M. So that's where she gets Sumu. And she shows all the various ways that you can put this together. Um, before I forget again, I'm using for this whole series a Micron 01 blending stump, possibly white charcoal pencil, a graphite pencil and sometimes an eraser. So I want to show you first with Sumu that, again, basically she starts with kind of an S shape. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it this way. And then she comes off of that S shape with kind of a U, and then this is where we put our kind of an M, right? And she also does one where if you want to start with kind of like a diamond shape, okay, goes like that. And then here comes our part. If you looked at this, it's kind of your S shape. And so I'm going to put the little hook on each of these. Okay. And then I'm going to put my little this is the U shape. And then off of this one, we put like our upside down M. Okay, so I would move over to this one. Put my little U shape. And then here's our M. Same thing here. Here you. There's the M. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, the U. And our little M shape. Okay. And she does one similar to a border, okay, like this, so one just right on top of another, these right next to each other. Um, she shows this one, and I'm going to put that on my two by two. But it, like I said, if you look at her step out, she has a lot of examples. And for each of those examples, she shows the steps. And I'm going to do the one 
that kind of turns into a flower. And so here comes my S shape. And then I'm just going to continue adding those. You don't need a certain number or certain distance apart. This one down. And as I come around, I tend to kind of bring that swirl in a little bit. So I have a little bit more of an S shape. Okay. So just starting like this. Now on this one, we're not going to put the U. We're just going to put the upside down M. So this one's a little taller and then over. Okay, so this is where I stopped. Okay, go to the next one, and I just I can kind of see where I stopped on that other one. Which is the top of that. And one more. I thought it made a pretty organic flower shape. Okay, and I'm going to put a line coming up the center of each of these. This is another one that was a new pattern to me, so I had to practice it a little bit. If you want, you could add some little hash marks here in the center. Just to define that spiral a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do the shading, and I'm just going to put a little bit on each of these edges, and a little in the bottom of each of these. I am recording these early so that I can get ahead. And today is actually Wednesday, September 28th. And there's a terrible hurricane. The eye of the hurricane has already hit southwest Florida. And I have a cousin who lives in southeast Florida. But... Um, I am thinking about all of those people and 
what's happening there and hoping that uh, they're okay. I live in the area that's halfway between Houston and Galveston, Texas. So I know what it is to uh, go through hurricanes. It's not fun. It can be very frightening. So my thoughts are with you. I hope that everyone is okay. All right. So that one was kind of quick and simple. And that's just one of the ways that you can do it. Again, there's another, the basic and another way that you can do it. And the next pattern is Finery by Zentangle. And it starts with just double lines. And then you make these little curves. And then there's different ways that I've seen this added on each one. But uh, I happened to see when I was looking around for examples that someone had done it like a leaf. So what I'm going to show you is a leaf type pattern on my two by two. You could do, like I said, this will show you how it works. You could do straight lines like uh, I showed you on the first example from my sketchbook. Or you could make shapes. You could use this as a filler or other patterns. So I'm just going to come up to a point and then come back down and aura that line. Okay. And then I'm going to do leaf shape same thing on this side I have found that it's a challenge to hold these bijou tile <laughs> so that uh, you can see what I'm doing and keep my fingers out of the way. Now I'm going to aura this line again. And I'm going to aura this one. Okay, and then we do kind of a S shape coming down and put these as close or as far apart as you want. I think finery is kind of an elegant pattern. I've enjoyed using it over the years. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. And I'm having it match up close to where this other side comes. Remember to relax your shoulders, breathe. All right. So now I'm going to put uh, the little design inside each one of these rows. 
And what I like to do is come up with a little line and then I make it into kind of a triangle there at the top. And I'm going to do that all the way down. So it's just a little fatter at the end. Like I said, that if you look through examples that others have done, you can do it really short the whole way down. Or a little bit longer, like I've done it here. I'm having it kind of follow that curve. And this one's definitely going to be short. Okay, now do that on this other side. Oops, just a little bit of one up here. And filling in that end. And I've seen this as a filler in a lot of different shapes. So it's a very useful pattern. Okay, and then above each one of these little stem shapes that we've made, I'm going to put dots. And then I'm going to let it be a little bit smaller as it gets closer to the edge. Same thing on this side. Okay. <clears throat> For shading, I'm going to add some graphite on each side of the center lines. And then on the outside also. And then I'm going to take my blending stump and soften it. And pull it toward the center. Okay. 
Okay. That was quick and easy also. So that is binary and sumu. And here they are in my practice journal again. <clears throat> So let's see what we have. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm really enjoying this. I hope that you're having fun with it. Um, if you don't have time to do these every day, don't worry about it. You can. Do them when you do have time. It's not meant to be stressful. It's just meant to help you be encouraged to do a little bit of drawing each day. All right. Thanks again for joining me. I will have another video with two patterns in two days. Have fun, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.